Today we have the Realme 6i. Wait, this is just the box. All right, now we have the actual Realme 6i and everything else inside of its box. What's up everyone, I'm Janus, creator of Pinoy Tech Dad, and today I'm gonna tell you all about the Realme 6i. But before anything else, let me reveal its price along with its specs. So it's 1,000 pesos more expensive than the launch price of the Realme 5i. Now let's see if the improvements are worth its price hike. At the bottom, it has a downfiring speaker and a shocker, it has a USB Type-C port. Welcome to the future, Realme. And then we have a headphone jack, which is always a welcome inclusion. Now on the left side, we have the volume control and the SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot. Then on the right side, you have the power button. At the back, you have a quad camera setup and a fingerprint sensor as well. And speaking of its back, this is gonna be subjective. As I always say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but the color and design of the back panel doesn't resonate with me. It's definitely unique, and most reviewers and even Realme calls it a luggage design. But for me, it reminds me a lot of a cactus or maybe even a pickle. Also, the textured back panel of the Realme C3 or Realme 5i is gone. The 6i now has a smooth matte finish design, and it's not a fingerprint magnet, but I would have loved for another textured back back panel as it really helps with the grip. The Realme 6i has MediaTek's Helio G80 12 nanometer processor and the base model has 3 gigabytes of RAM. My unit scored around 198,000 in Antutu benchmark compared to the Realme 5i which only got around 170,000 and I say that is a great start in terms of performance improvement. Now for daily tasks like social media apps, watching YouTube videos, sending messages and the likes, the Realme 6i will breeze through all of those. All the apps that I tried opened up quickly and were all quite quite snappy, so no complaints on my part. Next, let's jump to the display. With a 6.5-inch IPS LCD display and only at 720p resolution, it's safe to say that the Realme 6i won't blow you away in this department. The colors are still good, but when you watch YouTube videos, you're limited to a maximum of 720p, so quality definitely suffers, especially if you're used to watching full HD videos. But if you're not too picky with video resolution, the Realme 6i's display is sufficient. You'll still enjoy watching your favorite TV shows, music videos, or movies on its 6.5-inch display. Next, let's talk about the camera. The Realme 6i is equipped with a quad camera setup, it has a 48 megapixel main lens, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, a 2 megapixel macro lens, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And then you also get a teardrop 16 megapixel front camera. Now, I was surprised that snapping a 48 megapixel photo doesn't require any loading time. For reference, my flagship level Xiaomi Mi 9 still takes a second before capturing 48 megapixel photos. So that's really great for the Realme 6i. Anyway, here are a few camera samples from the Realme 6i. So what do you guys think? Well, for me, the photos actually came out surprisingly good. However, video quality needs a lot of improvement for Realme's i variant. Even at full HD, the video's bitrate seemed too low. Again, don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting crazy good video quality like flagship phones, but maybe just something that I'd be able to proudly upload on social media. Let's briefly touch on gaming. This is where I was super impressed with the Realme 6i because even after playing a lot of games for several hours, the back panel barely got warm. Even after two consecutive games of PUBG, 
The back panel remained fairly cool even though I only had a standard electric fan directed at myself. You'll be able to play your favorites like Mobile Legends and yes it has a high frame rate option, Call of Duty, PUBG and even other top games on this without any issues. Now if you want a more detailed gaming review where I play Honkai Impact 3, Black Desert Online and other games, I will be making one as well so subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified once I upload that video. So armed with a 5000 mAh of battery, the Realme 6i will last you for a day. And unless you game all day, you'll probably just need to charge it once a day. Now one thing to note that most YouTubers probably won't mention is that while Realme claims that the 6i can already charge up to 18 watts, the one that I got was only able to charge up to 10 watts. And I tried different variations of charging too. I tried the charger and the cable that came with it and then even switched it up with other cables and other chargers and I still got the same result. Hopefully it was just my unit but yeah it will take a lot of time to charge up a 5000 milliamp hour battery at only 10 watts. The Realme 6i is a great budget phone, but at around $160 or 7,990 pesos, it faces steep competition. And what's crazy is that its competition mainly comes from its own brand. You have the Realme C3, which for me is the best budget gaming phone right now. And then you have the Realme 6, which as of the time of this review, costs around $70 more than the 6i, but has better specs overall. Now, looking at the specs of the Realme 6i and comparing it with the Realme 5i, it doesn't seem like there's much improvement. So if you already have the Realme 5i, I suggest you hold on to it. However, if you have a budget phone from 2019 or older, I think the Realme 6i is a great budget phone that you should consider. It has a great performing processor that will let you game for several hours, a decent camera for photos, and a battery that will last you for a day. The design isn't as flashy as the Realme 5i or C3, but it's something that you'll get used to. Now if you want more information about the Realme 6i, check out Sule Tech Reviews and Gadget Sidekick for their opinion about it. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today guys. Keep safe and have a great day.